Rennie. Fire away with questions for the guys, please. Okay, BJ, you can take us through the last shot there. Uh, How about taking us through the, up from the intentional foul onto the last shot? Uh, I didn't even, you know, it was just unfortunate that that happened, the intentional foul. Um, I was just playing hard trying to go get a dunk. Um, and then the last play of the game, I just knew Vic was going to be able to take that shot. And, uh, you know, as a leader on the team, I just got to do something. I can never give up until the last buzzer. Um, and I just knew I could get a rebound, and if I throw it up, it's going in. So, uh, you know, it was this perfect night, man, perfect way to end this night. So, you know, this is bittersweet. Blake, what was the, what was the injury on that, on that foul there? Oh, uh, that's my elbow, uh, but I'm all right. You know, did you, uh, how important was it to get back in the game, uh, in the game after that? Uh, definitely important, you know, especially on a night like this. I don't, I'm not trying to sit on the bench, you know. My teammates was asking me, am I okay? You know, and at that point, adrenaline's just rushing in right there. You can't feel anything. So, um, I, mean, I, I had to just leave my body out on the court. Just, you know, that's what I do. So, I was able to make a play. You know, Vic, uh, for a while there, they're, they're you know, they're kind of just making every shot out there. It seems like everything's going in for them. What are you guys thinking at that point? And how are you guys able to just respond so well and, and get it done? Staying together. Um, not putting our head down or letting anything that doesn't have to do with positive energy affect us, you know. P get basketball is a game of runs, you know. Um, we went on a couple of runs, they went on a couple of runs. It's how you stop it and how you respond. You know, it's never, it's never over, you know. Anything can happen. I don't know if you guys seen the Virginia game. They won a game in 1.2 seconds with and point nine on the clock, like anything can happen. You just got to stay together and, you know, and keep believing in your guys because we're all we got, you know. You know, could you, obviously the, the crowd was, was great tonight. I mean, could you, what was just the atmosphere out there like for, the, for you guys as players on the court uh, with the senior night crowd? Man, sometimes you can't even hear what we got to say to each other. and We right here, you know, and that's, and that's what we need. And that helps us bring out these tough games, you know. We didn't play our best. We didn't defend that well, but... At the end of the day, the stat is about points. And if you win by one, lose by one, it, uh, a win is a win, a loss is a loss. So, you know, we got to give credit to them. They played their, you know, their hearts out. And, you know, we did what we had to do. And it just came how it came. Last game in Cowan Spectrum, senior night, how did the emotion play out tonight? A lot of tears. A lot of tears, you know. Um, I, can, I think I can speak for these two. Uh, Ark, really. You know, over these four years, we've put everything we've had into this. You know, we every day we put our blood, sweat, and tears into the university. And to see that, you know, out there means a lot to us, and it is powerful. You know, it moves. it's something you can't forget. Ark, it looked like you showed up ready to play this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's last game at home. I have to. We just, we're just getting ready for the last week for them. We have to come out and get to Reno, get to Reno ready. The, the diving for that loose ball in the first possession kind of set the tone for the rest of the game for you. Definitely. Winning plays. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Ark, I mean, how, how important was it for you guys as seniors to just kind of come out and have, you know, big games tonight for the team and, and really, you know, just carry, carry the, the team tonight? Uh, it was tough, but we as seniors, we created a legacy. We created uh, standards. In, the, in this basketball team, and we have to show it what it is to the young guys, especially to the crowd, and we just got to carry on. You know, Vic, I didn't notice. How, how long were you wearing a Perion's jersey there? Start to finish. Start to finish. Okay. What, can you talk about why you decided to do that today? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> Perion is a fifth-year <coughs> senior. You know, um, his senior year, he had, a, he had an injury and missed out the whole season, missed senior night. Then this year, you know, right before it's time to come home, he gets hurt again, and he misses another senior night. And I'm a, I'm a team guy. You know, you can ask anybody about me. I'm all about my, my teammates and, you know, what's best for them and us. And to, for P to live that senior night through me, I think means a lot and something we, me and him will never forget, mm -hmm. you know, because it's just special. It's not about me. It's not about him. It's not about him. It's not about the seniors. It's about the legacy that we leave here. It's deeper than just basketball. You know, we're we're making a brotherhood, a friendships that'll last forever, and that's what you know made me do this. Did you have to get any kind of clearance to wear his jersey or? or no, nah, I just had to uh, make sure I was number one in the book. <laughs> so the the number was all that counted. The name on the back didn't make a difference. Yeah. Nope. As long as PC, his last name, and gameplay, that's all that matters to me. 
So moving on next year, you guys leaving behind a young team. What's been your message to them this season and tonight especially? Mainly, mainly it's play hard, stay together, buy into the system, and just do whatever you got to do to win. You know, what is uh, a, a win like this? I mean, how are you guys going to carry this um, kind of forward into the, tr into the tournament now, um, kind of the next the next step of the, the season here? Uh, it's it's shook enough. We we're not worried about the regular season no more. It's time for three games that we got ahead, and whoever our opponent is, we're going to set up our game plan and be ready to play hard. Uh, we're coming in there with a lot of confidence. We're going to win big sides of conference. We're going to. The uh, uh, the perimeter defense, were, were you not getting out on their shooters as quickly as you wanted, or or were they just stepping back further and further? Or what? I mean, you got you can't forget these are Division One basketball players, and they got scholarships for reasons. You know, they got scholarships to do what we do <coughs> in Idaho. They got that to do at Southern Utah. And, you know, sometimes it's good D, but better O. And then sometimes defense, you, when you have lapses, it leaves them open, and you pay for that, you know. Open shots kill you, you know. And we just going to go to film, get ready in practice, see what we got to get better, and, you know, get to it. <laughs>